All right, guys, here we are at the Neo booth. Look at how many people there are. There are just so many people. We're gonna check out the 2024 ET7. And then we also got the fourth gen swap station. But first, let's see what kind of uh, perks we get as a Neo owner. And also, if you're a, a new customer, what kind of things you get, all right?哎哈喽好久不见好久不见好久不见过来这块拍一拍你还是继续上传海外吗对对对比较早前昨天前天今日场馆支持特别乱啊就不用刷身份证直接怼都是怼下来哇直接怼进来了我拍哪台车吗我
So I'm gonna go uh, film the other ET7. There's not that many people over here. And by the way, before we start filming ET7, I just wanna show you guys, this is gonna be worth trillions, all right? This is, of course, Neo's main control chip for LiDAR, the NX6031. Take a look at that. Absolutely beautiful, all right? Look at how small that is. That's, that's my thumb for comparison. It's like the size of my thumb. And this is equivalent to four Orin X chips, all right? So it's actually, uh, you know, it's gonna save Neo a lot of money as well. Neo's 1,200 volt silicon carbide power module. Very nice. So Neo has a lot of cool tech, all right? And these are the batteries on the ET9. 46105 large cylindrical cell. This is going to be used on the ET9 with super fast charging, five minute charging for 255 kilometers. Look at that. Absolutely nuts. All right. So Neo has a lot of cool tech as well. So we're going to go check out the ET7. Lots of people. Here is the Moonlight Silver, New Moon Silver colorway. Very, very nice. So by the way, I was able to interview the head of Neo Power spontaneously, all right? It was actually very, very random. And uh, I asked him a couple questions. I asked him about uh, what we can expect from those partnership cars, partnership swap cars. He said about one and a half years because it takes them a lot of uh, testing and uh, certification, all that kind of stuff. So we can expect them very soon. And he also hopes that they can launch those cars very soon. I also asked him about uh, swap stations that are funded by non-NEO parties. So apparently for that info, he said that for other people, it's more like an investment opportunity. So some people will be investing, uh, seeing that as an investment and they'll be uh, investing in swap stations and basically um, you know, build out these swap stations as a investment seeking some returns and Neil is still going to be building a lot of swap stations but it's you know the capex is going to be reduced so this car 2024 et7 i've done a video about the launch event already all right so this car is absolutely fantastic it is in my opinion right now the most comfortable the best Neil that you can get they have an updated much larger 16 inch heads up display it's just, it is massive. You can't really see it from here because the camera makes it look smaller. The seats are also much more comfortable. The price has not been increased, guys. It has not been increased, so it's actually still quite cheap. Uh, well, well, relatively speaking, all right, compared to last year's ET7. So definitely one of the things that uh, I noticed that was really nice. So uh, the rear screens, all right? We gotta really talk about the rear screens and the rear seats. But first, I'm going to quickly change the language to English to show you something. So this car actually doesn't have uh, English for the rear operating system yet. So here I changed the language to English. But unfortunately, the screens in the back don't have English yet. Very comfortable car. Nice stocks, big heads up display. The rear seats are definitely the place that you want to be in. And then there's also one button in that, in that seat where you can uh, press that one button. The front seat over here, the passenger seat goes forward. That seat tilts back. There's also really comfortable massage. Absolutely fantastic, guys. And look at the amount of people, guys. We got so many people here. Now the form factor, uh, definitely a lot more legroom than the ET set, uh, ET5, but still a little bit cramped. Not as much legroom compared to my EC6, so that's something to keep in mind. But definitely, very nice looking car. You got the uh, really nice wheels over here. Lots of live streams. They're all doing live streams, man. Every single new store, new space is doing live streams. They got multiple, multiple channels doing this. Now I want to sit in the back, man. These guys aren't coming out. These guys, by the way, are new user volunteers. 
these guys in blue, they are uh, basically new owners that are also here to help sell the car. So here we got the rear seats of the ET7, much wider. Of course, AGR certified, very comfortable seats. Uh, oh, so this thing fell off, but that's all right. Extremely comfortable. It's got over 10 layers of cushioning. Of course, ventilated. You got hot stone massage. We're gonna hop in and check out the screen. So I've actually got the front operating system adjusted to English, but this apparently does not have English. This is all Chinese. And uh, you know, there's no like a quick, easy navigation or anything like that to uh, change the settings. You got seat and then you got some apps. That's it. The good thing is this thing does tilt. So you got on the back, you got these uh, motorized units and also it has anti-vibration. So that means if there's vibration on the road or sort of bumps and stuff, it really helps mitigate that. And wow, these screens are fantastic. So here, of course, we got a nice, comfortable armrest. All right, very wide, dual chargers, dual wireless chargers as well. One really cool thing is you can sync between these two screens. It's seamless, zero delay. So I'm gonna see if I can find one of my own videos up here. Wow, it gets pretty bright, guys. Look at that. The only problem is some of these apps don't seem to be super responsive. Okay? I'm trying to search. You can't really search. And then you got massage as well. So let me, let me try to turn on massage here. You got massage. Turn it on. You have, ooh, wow, the massage is very nice. You can turn on hot stone massage. You got different variants of massage. You got soft, back. This is waist. Thai massage, wait, wait, Thai massage, and I don't know what this is, but let's go with Thai massage, All right? Pretty nice, very comfortable, man. So just eavesdropping the sales rep next to me saying that they sold over 20 cars uh, just himself, all right? Just himself, he sold 20 cars. So pretty nice, and uh, he said the new bass policy is way too good, so very, very nice. So I can also send the navigation from this screen to the front if I wanted to. And also the headroom is actually pretty decent, I'd say. Headroom, look at that headroom, man. The best thing I think is the fact that these screen, these, this window or this glass is adjustable in terms of brightness. So you see customers scanning uh, the sales rep's QR code. They get a free loot box by doing so. Lots of interest around the battery swap station. And by the way, guys, here we have a good look at the new life booth with lots of new life stuff. Shirts, jackets, all made from recycled materials. Very, very cool. And then you also got this shirt over here. Ah, hello, hello. <laughs> this is the exact same one that I'm wearing right now. Wow. Take a look, the exact same shirt as the one I'm wearing right now. Once again guys, absolutely fantastic auto show. Swap station, lots of customers, lots of new owners as well. Wow, they're selling lots of cars, but more importantly, they're getting leads, all right? They're getting leads, they're getting customers' information. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, peace out.